We talked after the exhibition game, none of that stuff counted. Uh, talk about mm -hmm. just today. I mean, you came out, it looked like you were focused, and, and how fun was that first half for you? Um, so this was my first official ever college game, and I knew that I needed to just leave it all out on the court and play the hardest I could for my team. So that's what I tried to do. And it was just so much fun. I love playing with this team, and I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. So, Mick, you guys got a presence in the post. You wanted to get to her early. I'm thinking here, kind of going, how cool is it for you guys to, to know she was going to be in there, and you guys could hit her almost whenever you wanted to, it seemed like. Yeah, it's awesome to have that. It gives us a new dimension offensively and defensively. Um, so we're excited about her continued growth and her potential. I mean, there are a lot of good performances. I think Mick, it's just so quiet. I mean, I looked up at the thing, I thought to Annie, I was like, uh, she's like two assists away from a triple over. She was like, I know. I mean, just did you even have any idea, because I didn't, that she was even close to a triple double tonight? No, I didn't. I hadn't thought about it, but it, it did. It made sense after I looked at it. You know, she kept coming up with rebounds, coming up with rebounds, and then, you know, the way she plays, that ball moves out of her hands because she's able to get so many places on the floor off the dribble and then off of offensive rebounds, you know, and so it, it, nothing ever Mick ever does ever surprises me, right? And, and so um, I knew she played longer minutes tonight. Uh, you know, we left, we had her play four, well, three, only three positions tonight. On three. Uh, only three positions tonight, you know, so I knew she was, uh, you know, doing a little bit of everything, so it didn't surprise me. Taylor, you had 14 points in the first quarter alone. Um, you didn't look nervous out there. Were you nervous? Um, I was a little bit nervous as they were, like, calling us out for the starters, but I think the USA game helped us to get all the nerves out because you're in front of a huge crowd. You're playing the best of the best. So that helped get all my nerves out. But I'm, it's just fun playing here. So I wasn't super nervous. How many games are your parents going to be able to come and see you play? So they're here for this one and our game on Tuesday? Monday. Monday. And they'll be at the Civil War weekend. So. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. um, Scott, you know, you guys are no stranger to being ranked, but how do you kind of manage expectations going into a season where, where you're ranked in the top 10? Mm -hmm. Like uh, amongst your team, not amongst the rest sure. of us. Uh, this is a group that wants to win every night. You know, and uh, those those rankings, those accolades. You know, if you look at all the watch um, lists that Destiny and Mick are on, um, let alone the ranking that our team has, it's all noise. Uh, it's all what we would assume, and so it just feels like it's part of what we what we do. And so you you can't focus on it. You just focus on the next possession and that's all that matters. And we talked about that actually before the game tonight. I brought that up. Not the ranking necessarily, but the expectations and tonight the journey starts. You know, this is the first game. We've played seven before tonight, um, including our Italy tour. Uh, but this is the first one that counts. And the only way you deal with that is worry about the next possession, you know, and, and prepare yourself for the next one and and put everything you have into that possession. And so Rankings, I, I love them um, because that's where you want to be, uh, you know. And so I've, I've had teams that there's been a lot of expected of throughout my career, and uh, I, I kind of enjoy being in that role. Okay, like you're kind of the Wiley veteran now. Um, how do you, do you feel a certain responsibility? And, mm -hmm. you know, how have you kind of grown into the player you are and the leader you are in managing the younger folks? Yeah, I think it's my responsibility to continue the tradition that's been set before me by different senior classes and trying to continue to um, keep the culture and improve upon it um, as much as we can. Um, so we're excited about taking each day and uh, making the most of the season. Meg, I think you guys had 13 turnovers in the first half mm -hmm. and only three in the second half. Mm -hmm. What kind of change? Did you guys realize, you know, kind of, getting a little sloppy with the ball at times. I know they pressed a little bit there in the, yeah. the second quarter. Just how did you guys kind of clean that up? They did a good job with their press, and it got us on our heels a little bit um, in that second quarter especially. Way too many turnovers. Um, but at halftime, we came and um, adjusted our press break offensively in terms of our spacing and where we need to get the ball to, and that helped um, get our flow better offensively. Awesome. Well said. Go Beavs. <laughs> Thank you, everybody.